and welcome to this video where I will demonstrate how to use ANSYS Workbench with Design Modeler and ANSYS Meshing to generate a watertight SDL file for use with Forte. First, I'm going to add a geometry component and then I will double click the geometry component which will open Design Modeler. Now that Design Modeler is open, I can import my CAD file which contains my geometry. Here, my file is called Engine, so I'll click Open. Once I've clicked Open, I need to click Generate in Design Modeler to generate the geometry, and then we can see our geometry in the Graphics window. Now that I've read my geometry in, I can go back to ANSYS Workbench, so we can close Design Modeler. I now have a checkbox next to the geometry. Now I'm ready to mesh the geometry using ANSYS Meshing. So I'll drag the mesh component onto geometry to create a connection. We can then double click the mesh, which will open ANSYS Meshing. Now our geometry is read into ANSYS Meshing, We're ready to mesh the geometry. If I click Mesh, in the bottom left I can specify my physics preference, and in this case, it will be CFD. Click the drop down, click CFD, and then at the top we can now generate the mesh. The mesh generation is now complete. We can check the mesh and be sure we're happy with the quality of the mesh before exporting for Forte. As of Forte version 40141, Forte can read in a Fluent Mesh file. We can go to File, Export. We can choose Fluent Input File, .msh file, specify a name, and click Save. In this case, the file already exists, and I'll just replace the file. We have now exported our Fluent Mesh file now we're ready to read that mesh file into Forte. So I'll come to Forte. On the geometry node, I can go to import, choose fluent mesh file, OK. Now I can browse to the directory that contains my fluent mesh file. Here we have engine.msh. I'll select the file, click open. We'll specify the unit for the geometry, in this case it's meters. Click OK. Forte will check the surface mesh to be sure it's watertight. And in this case, ANSYS Meshing has created us a watertight geometry. So we're ready to now split the geometry to identify our various boundary conditions and complete setting up the problem in Forte. Thank you for viewing this video on how to use ANSYS Workbench with Design Modeler and ANSYS Meshing to take a CAD file and generate a watertight fluent mesh file for use in Forte, where we can now set up and model our IC engine. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at reactiondesign-sales at ansys.com or reactiondesign-support at ansys.com. Thank you for viewing this video.